Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. And you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order this online, but it's a very cool... It's If you use prime lenses like I do, lenses that don't zoom, or even if you use zoom lenses and you carry multiple lenses, it's a great way to better protect your lens from uh, dust and dirt and that sort of stuff while it's not on the camera. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find this size as well as the uh, other sizes that are available too. This particular one, um, it was the second size up, so it was the medium, the medium size within this video's description. So we get a uh, little note here. I'm not going to bother reading that. Get a microfiber cleaning cloth, which is always nice to have a ton of these because you know these wear out over time. They get dirty and you just wouldn't want to use it. You don't have a fresh one. So I'm going to keep this in the plastic wrap, put it in my camera case so that I've got a backup or a second backup. Now looking at this, it almost feels like a wetsuit type material. And uh, you can see here it's got a belt loop. So if you want to look really cool, you can carry your lenses around on your belt like you're the boss. You can do that because it's got a belt loop. Also has a little clip, which seems to be of nice quality. Although it's made of plastic, it seems to be of nice quality. I don't know if I would personally trust carrying around a thousand dollar plus lens um, with this little piece of plastic, but I would trust the belt loop. Ultimately, I'm going to put it in my backpack that I use along with my other uh, with my other gear. It's got a soft kind of furry finish on the end. Not real fur by the way in case you're out there trolling. Um, but yeah just fake fur type feel on the inside. It's purple. I like the color. Looks really nice. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate with a couple lenses that I use from A7R2. Uh, these are Carl Zeiss lenses. And uh, before I even put them in there I'm going to blow on them. Make sure there's not any dust. Because that's one thing, you don't want dust to collect on your lenses because then when you do a lens change, you're increasing the possibility that dust may be introduced into your camera's sensor. And if you've ever dealt with dust issues, you know that's not fun. Uh, this one right here in this hand, this is the Batis or Batisse, if you want to sound really cool, a 25 millimeter. So I'm going to stick it in here. And it's got plenty of room on the top. So I probably maybe could have gone a size down. Actually, I probably wouldn't have wanted to because there's that's a pretty good fit. But you can see how nice that looks with the uh, lens on the inside. Again, just a way to better prevent your lens from making contact with dust and the elements while it's not in use. But, you know, again, keep in mind that, uh, you know, dust is, is always going to be an issue. So, you know, even if you take all these steps and use a case like this, it's not going to 100% prevent it, but it's going to hopefully reduce the probability of it happening. So that was a 25 millimeter that I put in here. And uh, oh, another thing worth mentioning, when your lens is not in use, you've got a cap on the back and you've got a cap on the front. So this is just uh, another way to better prevent those from making contact with other objects in your backpack or your camera bag and knocking those off. Because if those knock off in transport, then you're getting all the dust and dirt that may be inside of your camera back backpack or your camera case inside of the lens, and that's not good. Okay, so there we are with the Batiste or Batis 85 millimeter. It's a pretty snug fit, but I got this size because ultimately, at this point in time, these are the only two lenses that I use. And you know, one's going to be on the A7R2, and the other one is uh, is going to be in this in this bag inside of my backpack or my waterproof and ruggedized case. So, you know, from that perspective, this is, this is awesome. I really like it. Very nice, you know, enhances my peace of mind. And you're probably wondering, well, you said one of these is gonna be on your A7R2. Why is it not on your A7R2, bro? Um, well, actually my A7R2 is undergoing warranty repair uh, because it, uh, oh, there's something at the door. Hold on, let me see what this is. Sorry for the interruption, that was just the uh, the Mafia, and I was like, hey, forget about it, forget about it. And they forgot about it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, cool case. Again, comes in a variety of different sizes. 
I would definitely encourage you to check your uh, the physical dimensions of your lens before you order one of these and then that way you can find the best size for your lens or lenses so yeah it worked out for me because these were so close in size even with the uh, the lens hood flipped around that they just fit great see if I put the lens hood on it's it's a little bit larger but obviously when the lens is not in use I'm not gonna have the lens hood in that orientation I'm gonna have it flipped around like this so thanks for watching and check the link within this video's description to find where to order this online. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash iRickSky. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRickSky here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.